And... There we go. Tingle appeared in the Game Boy Advance. Yay. Oh, I wish I could show this screen to you guys. I know there's a way to capture it because Chugga Colin already did it, but I think you need two capture cards. Uh, hello, come in to you read me, my dear Mr. Fairy, on Windfall Island, huh? Now it's not totally redundant for me to read the text. Gee, Mr. Fairy, you missed Tingle already? Because you can't actually see the text. Do you see Tingle's face everywhere you go? God, no, I hope not. I'm just going to move around on here just to waste time and make sure so that you guys aren't staring at a static screen while I read this. When you use the Tingle tune, what? Oh my god. You should find out if you are the right fairy for Tingle. Here's how. Look in front of the post box. Easy, easy. Go to the post box and use A to check the question mark. Okay. So yeah, you can actually go to the post box and there's not a question mark. There's It's on the Game Boy screen in case, that, in case anyone was worried. And uh, I think you press A with Tingle actually. Whoa, good job. You're quite attentive, but there's more for you to find. There are three benches on Windfall Island. See if you can find the benches in the order that Tingle tells you. If all goes well, you and Tingle will become even better friends for finding fucking benches? What kind of place is this? But don't open any doors until you find them all or it's game over. Jeez. Okay, first go to the bench closest to here. And don't forget to take Tingle along. Tingle's watching you. Everywhere you go, anytime you sleep, Tingle be watching you. He's a creep. Oh uh, yeah, so... I had a hard time with this my first time I did it, because you rarely ever notice these benches, but this is the first one. The one that's closest to you. I've got one foot up, foot up on it, like a badass. Ding dong. This was the first one. It was a trial run. Next, go... Oh, you know, trial. Go to the bench with a seaside view. This one's actually uh, pretty memorable, because there's a guy that's actually sitting on it in the middle of the day, and he'll give you a heart piece if you do something else. Alright, sweet. And... Ding dong. Good work, sir. Now find the be third bench on your own. Oh man, you're throwing me out. I'm just a fledgling, though. <laughs> I'm a fledgling bench hunter. Bench warmer. Anyways, here's the last one. It took me a while to find that one. Actually, kind of blends into the wall. Ding ding. Congratulations, clever fairy. Clever girl. You listen carefully to Tingle's words. Okay, Mr. Fairy, can you find the rupees I hid in this area? Use that to search for the curse. Okay. Ah, uh, so... Yeah, so there are going to be, like, hidden rupees in this area, apparently. Can I get Tingle to, like, stay on the ground? Thank you. And, uh, if you find them... You know what? Fuck it. Oh my god, what'd I do? I just bombed something, I think. Oh my god, this is so boring. I'm so sorry, guys, that you can't actually see what I'm doing. You're probably staring at, uh, Link non-moving for half the time. But, uh, there is one more thing you can do with Tingle before I close up this video. Or this recording, anyways. This recording, yeah. yeah. Really, I just said that. You, if you head up here, this is a, I don't know how you're supposed to figure this out. I guess you're just toying around. But uh, if you come up here and actually jump onto this little uh, outcrop here, this awning with Tingle, then he'll say, uh, "E Tingle has been found." Oh, what to do? Aha! Tingle can offer you the the, the Tingle balloon at a very low price. And if you order that, you'll also get a Tingle Shield at an unbearable bargain. <laughs> unbearable bargain. That's my new favorite saying. <laughs> an unbearable bargain. It reminds me of Jargon or something. Yeah, so that'll reduce, uh, I think that'll cut the price of the Tingle Balloon and Tingle Shield in half, kind of like he said. And I haven't actually shown either of those off. There's a bunch of different abilities that Tingle can do. Uh, I think I've only shown off the Tingle Bomb so far. Oh my god, it's a cutscene. What? Oh, shoot. That was cool. I like that. Let's just talk. Let's hang out, man. Hey, have you seen what I call the frightening fishmen? Check this out. The other day, I was at sea on a cruise, and without thinking much about it, I tossed some leftover bait out on the waves. And you will never guess what happened. This fishy-looking thing popped out on the surface, but it was no ordinary fish. It was sushi. It had this weird human-looking smile. Oh my god, like the creeper smile, like the Tim smile. Jeez. The ocean is so very vast. Many mysterious things that we have yet to dream of lie sleeping beneath the waves. Yeah, like maybe Triforce pieces. Who knows? Squid. <laughs> what? The? What? He just said... <laughs> Never mind. You ever been up... Uh... You ever been all ate up by one of those squid out of the sea? 
Uh, oh yeah, I'm just, I think this, I'm lying here, but don't you go lying now. Why stick to another sailor out there when hit my position with, what? Why stick any other sailor out there in my position and he'd be belly up? He'd have been finished. Finished, I tell you. It's darn good thing I'm looking as good and rough and tumble as the sailors you'll ever meet. Oh, you better believe it. What happens if I say no? <laughs> just the, just the bluntness of what? Could you imagine if you just walked up to someone in the street, or in, even in like a bar or Starbucks or whatever, and they just, and you just, you're like, oh hi there, and they're just like, squid. And they just like stare at you like you're stupid. This one time our ship got caught in a giant whirlpool, you get me? And what's waiting, what's that waiting for us in the middle of it? The giant squid, you ever, giantist? That ain't a word, come on. All over its body, these things had the beady, gnarly, glowing eyes, and I don't even know what was going on with its tentacles. Now that I'm thinking on it, those were the squir squirreliest eyes i ever seen. If I ever come across that beastie again, I'll whale him in the eyes. That's what I do. Man, these guys are cool. I've never actually come up here at night to talk to them. Ah, oh, nothing better than a cup of refreshment at your local cafe after a long day's work. Nothing. What are you, an infomercial? Uh, and what about you? You look actually pretty quiet, like a pretty quiet guy. Haha, <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this at such a late hour? Isn't it bedtime for a little brats? Well, fuck you too. What about, uh, the lady here? Is she gonna serve me? Just a second there, kid. Look, this isn't any time for a kid like you to be coming in here. Just trust me, okay? Go on now. Go home! For a minute, I thought it was gonna fade to black and actually kick me out there. That would've been funny. That would've been a great touch. Well, that actually didn't accomplish a damn thing, but it was fun. I tell you what, that's one of the most fun things to do in this game, is just wander around and talk to people. You never know what you're going to get. Just what kind of crazy dialogue. You know, squid. Anyways. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Um, God, this, this feels good to be recording this, man. You see Tingle's face everywhere you go. When you use the Tingle Tuner, he is near you, protecting you. Hey, Mr. Fairy, you should go find out if you are the right fairy for Tingle. Here's how. Look in front of the post box. Don't tell me to do this again, stupid. Mm. Yeah, if you do that, like, side quest again with Tingle, because he chimed in again to do that, uh, you can find more rupees and stuff. It's not a bad way to grind for rupees, actually. You can get, like, 20 at a time. Maybe even 50. I don't totally remember. Either way, um... I think that's about it for Windfall Island. All that I really want to do right here right now. I have some more auction stuff to get, uh, but I think I'll just come back here later with more rupees and maybe a bigger wallet. So, um, next time on Let's Play The Wind Waker, whenever that may be, we are going to go ahead and, uh, I guess we'll rendezvous back in Forest Haven, because we really got nothing better to do. So, I'll see you then. See you guys there. And as natural, we got to take our L-shaped pattern to get back there, because you can't just sail diagonally. Not quite yet. Is that moonful? No, it's not. Okay. Anyways, I'll just be sailing the high seas at midnight. What bliss. So thanks, everyone, for watching. This has been Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, Squid.